And now for today's boffin stop. So we've come to sunny Brighton to meet the infamous Ian Watts. There can be only one. So, here we have the most famous of your creations, Ian. Tell us about it. This is Bigger Brother. Um, he's uh, described as a nightmare in metal. Quite the worst. An evil machine. Um, he's done really well. He's won the uh, Royal Rumble in San Francisco. He's won the Dutch Internationals. Uh... Okay, so tell us a bit about what's inside there. Oh, if you don't mind giving away your secrets, of course. No, it's all top secret. You can't. I'm not going to tell you. Now, come on, come on. All right then. Um, big fat tyres. Try and give us some grip. Um, a reduction ratio gearbox here um, from the main motor. These are one horse motors, but we only run them to about four horse each, three or four horse each. Motor controller, so we've got nice control over the forwards and backwards. Mm -hmm. And then a gas supply that operates the pneumatic system that fires this up and down. Okay, so you said about you um, overrate the motors. Can you can tell us right. how you do that. Uh, just load them up really heavily. <laughs> they, draw, they draw loads of current. They draw about 100 amps each, 90 amps each, at 24 volts. And um, that's about 2 kilowatts, which is about 3 horsepower each. Right, okay. So what you're doing is letting them drain more juice out of the batteries than really they should be. And that's right, yeah. And that just increases the... Yes, yeah, so if we were to run them continuously like this, after about 10 minutes they'd melt. But of course you only want to write, run it for about five minutes about, don't you? That's right, yeah. Brilliant, okay, thank you. What else you got around then? One of the saddest sides of building robots is that often you have to cannibalise old ones to build new ones. And Ian, we have one of your uh, older creations here. Can you tell us about it? Uh, yes, this was uh, Kyodai. He was in um, Mechanoids. Um, I've pinched all his parts to make something else, so his arms have been um, taken away and they're part of a chair now. Um, and his motor controllers are in a Dalek and Bigger Brother and radio controls operating a shopping trolley. Um, poor fella, he's been cannibalised. Well, equally, you could look on the brighter side and say at least it's being reborn as a new robot. Ian, we found this um, in a skip, so to speak, um, and we were wondering what basically we've got here. Obviously it'll make a very nice uh, robot chassis Thing here. Um, I don't know if you can tell what it was. Well, um, I had to know. It was um, a project at the university where they tried to make the, the world beating um, wheelchair and they developed this, which is magnificent. And as a, a mobile bed for a project, it's excellent. It's got, it's got pneumatic, oh, sorry, it's got electrics, hydraulics, and you've we can add some pneumatics and you can do anything with it. How do we link that to a radio control setup? Um, the radio control part, you have a standard radio control receiver here, um, and all, all you do is interface with the pulses that come out of there. Um, a little PIC will do that for you, a uh, programmable circuit. Okay, so that's the PIC chip which you can program from a PC, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Again, this is boffin language. Now, if I was to tell you that Ian had built an electric chair, you probably wouldn't be that surprised. But I bet this isn't what you're expecting. You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs>